Uh, okay, so another week, um, or another Monday, another Guild War. Uh, let's see, we are 29 attacks left. They have 43. I think we're doing pretty good, but uh, they do still have quite a few attacks left. They've got like, the, what, 14 more than us? Um, and it's not exactly, we're not beating them by double, but eh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how things go. Uh, so as you can see here, we're not attacking Stronghold this time. Uh, let's go see how well I, I'm doing. Um, we can get to see mine. Uh, so these two are from last Guild War. So I got one defense draw and I lost twice, which is okay. Um, the defense, again, the same thing happened, I guess. The first person came in and attacked me. Uh, they got a defense. I got a successful defense on the bottom one. The top one was lacking. Um, yeah, so... It's kind of interesting to think about. I'm not sure. Like, it's always irritating because you can't really see what they take into your team other than just, like, yeah, I don't know. But it is weird that uh, the bottom team seems to be more successful for some reason. Because, I mean, for those of you who know, uh, th that bottom team always ended up, like, losing before. So, I don't know. Something's going right down there, I guess. Um, so, that's that. Let's go take a look at our ranking this time. So, we're ranked 37, um, which is a pretty far cry from my old guild uh, which is pretty interesting uh, so these guys are, are no joke um, let's see so probably want to hit that let's go take a look at this okay and that okay so I'm just gonna hit that tower and then find something random um, it's good to prioritize you want to save like if you're gonna try to win and maybe take some losses you want that to be on the uh, the main tower here and I can already see this why uh, this is the tower we waited on um, yeah this top team looks pretty irritating I can't use my dizzy currently because she doesn't have any um, well I mean I can but I took off I have two Aiello's Violins now, and I took the the maxed one off and put it onto my Zerato, my champion Zerato. Uh, so now she has one that's not even, I don't have any, any it's just zero. It's, it's nothing. Uh, so I have to level that one up before I start thinking about bringing her in here. Yeah, I kind of like this here. We got a lot of darks on both, so let's do this, this. Hopefully I can survive. Uh, Ken, but uh, of course those are famous last words. I mean, hopefully I can survive the damage she's putting out. Uh, she's never really, she's not a joke. Uh, we'll see how. So we'll see how this goes. Um, up here, I think I'm just gonna go with. Where are you? I'm gonna try that team again. Uh, let's do this, this, and where is you? And where's my oxalots? You're not oxalots. Oxalots is down here somewhere. Uh, my Roman is here. I'm I'm working on maxing him. I really want to test him out. I don't have an ML Roman, but um, like ML Roman is gonna be a lot better just because he has that silence. So like, he'll strip you, and then you know you can't do anything afterwards, which is kind of more. It's, it's pretty interesting how how. Not he's not like guaranteed better than Basar, but uh, at least Basar lets you cleanse it and then work after that or something like that, right? Whereas if you get hit by the ML Roman, you, you can't cleanse it because you don't have any skills. All you have is your S1. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, of course, the counter to both of them is pretty easily going to end up being either like a... Like your Zerato is pretty good against that or um, like ML Tywin is pretty good. Uh, which I do not have ML Tywin, so that's sort of unfortunate. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Hopefully I can kill this guy here. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get in there. Uh, it's really going to depend a lot on how much damage that, uh, ML Violet is going to hit me for. Um, it's kind of interesting. I, I do wonder if maybe, um, thanks to, um, ML Violet being around, are people going to be building their... Um, Ruel is more tanky-like. Um, I don't know. 
it's something to consider, I think. Um, like I've seen, a f I've seen a few royals kind of drop some effective resistance and go for more tank, um, and I think that you know might be common. Who knows? This world. Um, Riolu's over here doesn't have his uh, English voice actor or his Japanese voice actor, so that's kind of funny. Okay, so let's make sure we heal you up. Let's clear the um, debuff on him real quick, uh, or the uh, the skill nullifier on him. Um, okay, so she didn't break the bar he didn't break the barrier on her, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Uh, we'll wait for the turn cycle here on that. Um, unfortunately, she doesn't have any other molas on anything, so she's she does kind of sad damage against uh, anything that isn't. Uh, and it, with with anything that isn't her S3, unfortunately, so not kind of interesting. Um, so the boost is not only, I mean, it's kind of sad that unfortunately you saw she was like, it was basically her turn next. Uh, but the boost isn't just for uh, the turn cycling, it's also for the attack buff, so, you know, want to just make sure she has the attack buff ready to go. Okay. So this is very interesting. He he's not doing enough damage to really um, to trigger my water's origin or water's blessing or whatever. Is it water's origin? Might be water's origin. Uh, but in, in terms of talking back to what I was saying um, regarding the uh, see, this is a good example. So she's all the way up here. I can boost her up and get maximum like effectiveness off of that. Oh, he's in a counter here, so I guess I'll just hit him, see what happens. Yep. So this is the problem. Obviously, you get, like I said, you get 20%, so you get a better chance. Uh, but unfortunately, it's only 20% extra, so it's not 100%. And there you go. So the skill of nullifier turns her into not the best uh, uh, Riolu counter, mind you all. But uh, I, I don't think that was too bad. I, I, I liked how this I liked how this is going so far. Uh, I think she has her S3 up again, which is annoying now. Oop. Yep, she has a stream. Um, and I think he might be ready to go. But again, as we saw earlier, he doesn't do all that much damage, so that's not too bad. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Uh, let's hit you with this. Okay, so funnily enough, fortunately enough, he's not on life steal, so he can't heal. Like even the little bit of healing he gets usually tends to be pretty irritating. Uh, so fortunately for us, he he doesn't he can't heal. Balls! I shouldn't have done that. I think we're gonna die now. Yep, someone's gonna die. Oh, well, might die gonna hurt a lot come on don't die please don't die yeah oh well and he gets the second one so there we go we we um this is the the danger of fighting against um uh real lose here he can kind of just do random shit like this um and of course we got the let's just kill him please please die ah, okay so we lost two units but at least we got the win so on that first one anyway um what kind of happened there uh probably i think uh like prematurely kind of going after uh, what's his name there was kind of our problem. Um, we hit Riolu a few too many times where we shouldn't have, you know, it would have been better to prioritize killing the uh, the, um, the the CC. Okay, so he's he's stunned. So that's all right. We can just do this. Um, at least hopefully we'll stun her. Okay, very good. Uh, one of the funny things I, I like about having like I like about people running immunity sets is the idea that like if you're running an immunity immunity set, you kind of showing you're kind of showing your hand that you don't have um, kind of showing your hand early that you don't have good effect resistance. So what you have to do is kind of wait out the uh, immunity set, and you're basically solid. Uh, in, in in most cases, I think. Um, but yeah, so I, th I just thought that was kind of funny. Um, uh, 
let's do this. I think she, I think he should be dead now. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, my, I'm actually getting pretty excited to use my um, my uh, ML 10A here a lot more because she's a lot more fun these days. Uh, she's got like way better gear. Um, she still doesn't do enough damage, I think, um, but that's kind of a, a an artifact of the fact that I have her on a speed boot and a sp like she's got 200 speed. I'll show her case. I'll showcase her at the end of this, but uh, yeah. So it, it kind of comes from her having a little uh, too much speed and, and not enough uh, other things. Uh, and this is, you know, for those of you who, who want to build teams, this is kind of the danger of running a team like this. Is um, you can just kind of do this. Uh, even if it wasn't him, I could probably just run something as simple as like. Um, like F Maya. F Maya is a lot easier to get a hold of too. Well, not easier. She's a four star, so she's equally as difficult. Uh, but you know what I'm saying. Like, you can just like bait this out with a light unit really quickly. Uh, let's do this. I have her on Caladra. Uh, it's not the best artifact, but I'm just having trouble like figuring out what to do. Like, I'm not sure what to give her. Um, yeah, Caladra's fine, but um, I don't know. Like, there's nothing like. All right, so. The, the, the point I want to make with that is like, I'm not saying that there's no good artifacts for her. There are good artifacts, I mean, but the thing is, they're all good, like, mage artifacts. They'd be good on most mages, right? Um, but there's nothing that stands out. There's nothing that's like, like, dizzy on Abyssal Crown, right? Even though I don't run her on Abyssal Crown, but like, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing that's like, damn, dude, that's going to get you maximum, like, you know, return on investment for having that artifact on, on her. Um... So I think uh, some lessons to take away. I don't see. I don't take. Ruel, you need a lot of effect resistance for RTA, but I don't do a lot of RTA for one and for two. Um, yeah, I take her into things where she does like. I don't have to worry too much about her getting. Uh, you know uh, about about needing her to have be resist to resist a lot of things, right? Like I can take her into stuff and be like, okay, uh, this doesn't have a lot of debuffs, so I'm just gonna go in here and, and not worry about her getting. Um, debuffed so if i'm taking her into those situations already i think it's more pertinent to like take off because right now she has a resistance ring uh so maybe just i'm probably just gonna have to take that off of her and give her a health ring or something or a defense ring you know depending um and then just kind of you know go from there because i'm losing too much survivability for the lack of for the effect resistance and it's not even like that big a deal uh this is team it's just like the last one so we're just gonna go here here and here um, yeah, this is the same team. Uh, down here, it looks pretty interesting, though. So, how about we... This team looks... Well, more more than interesting, it looks pretty annoying. Um, what if we just do this? I mean, I, this feels like... Uh, it should work. Uh, where is my healer uh, the biggest problem we're having though is going to be that um, there you are the biggest problem we're gonna have though is gonna be the fact that their SSB is gonna have attack buff where ours is not um, that's a that's a pretty big deal um, but I mean we'll see how it goes I guess um, the first person I probably need to kill is going to have to be um, that what's his name over there so she's still okay so only, it was only basically um, what's his name um, Sid that got that buff oh there you go thank you it was really only Sid that got that buff um, for uh, the, the attack priority thing so this one probably has high resistance, I'm assuming. And she just died. I don't know. I guess she was naked. That was sad. That was the saddest thing I've ever seen, man. What was that? <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that was horrible. What is going on here? What happened to... Why is Ken all the way up there? Oh, he pushed... I pushed her back. What the... F what is... This is wild. Are they not... I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's up with this um, team. There you go, 112, he only had 1200 HP, kind of sad, but it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, this entire, um, don't know what's going on here. This guy, I guess he didn't have his units geared, unfortunately. Okay. And she's dead. But yeah, I think Caladra might be, like, better on her, because, I mean, if you take a, a portrait, 
a portrait of the saviors, you're doing 20% damage on people over 50% HP. And does that... Does she have the water gun thing? Is that her who has that? What the fuck? I... This is wild, man. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Um, but, what was I saying? Got distracted by whatever the hell this all, all this is. Um, damn it, I can't remember what I was saying. Uh, oh yeah, I think Caladra's fine, because Caladra, right now, she's, it's not even max, and I'm getting 21% extra damage on someone with a debuff. I don't have a lot of um, debuffs on her. I mean, she, all she has is the poison from her S1 and the stun from her S2. Um, but already, I mean, it's like you'll get them every so often, so like, you know, it's a huge damage spike. Uh, I get the question here, I guess, is do I S1 or S2? Um, ah, fine, we'll do it. We'll take, we'll, we'll take the gamble. Uh, hopefully this crowd doesn't just absolutely murder me. Okay, so the counter. One. Uh, the S2. No, okay, so I got lucky with the S2. Okay. We're good, I think. Let's see what kind of damage we're looking at here. Okay. So we hit them with the S2. Hopefully we can... Okay, come on, come on. Oh, is Charles dead? Please tell me he's dead. I would love nothing more than Charles to be dead! Yes! Okay, good. There you go. Uh, skill. That's how it's done. You just skill through it. Uh, okay, cool. Perfect. Then there you go. Uh, we got, we're 2-0 so far. Uh, then we just have to whittle down this, um... Um, okay, yeah, so, I mean, what else to say? We're in, uh, we're in 37th place or something like that. It's kind of interesting, I'm actually, like, these past two guild wars have been pretty easy compared to the people we fought against in my, uh, old guild, and we were always, like, we never really broke top 50 in that guild, so... I have no idea what's going on here. Is this like one of those scenarios like in, so for those of you who don't know, in Fire Emblem, uh, the tier 21 is the cutoff. So once you hit tier 21 and above, every time the season resets, you get knocked down to tier 21. Um, I think, I forgot what tier you get knocked down under. I think you just fall down a tier or something. I don't know. I don't remember what under, under that what it was. But there's a huge disparity. Like, there's people who hang out around under tier 21 that make tier 21 harder than tier 21 and above, which is pretty annoying for most people trying to break in. But once you break into tier 21, uh, trust me, it's going to be a lot easier. I'm wondering if something similar like that with, like, ranking and all the, the score stuff is going on here. Um, but I'm not entirely sure, obviously. I don't know how, like, guild rankings and guild war and all that stuff works. Um, but I'm just, it's just a curious thing to uh, think about, like, if something similar is going on here. Uh, let's just hit this last one and we'll be good to go. Uh, so we're looking at the same thing at the top. Uh, I already burned my um, tanky comp from the first one here, so we're kind of uh, got to figure out what to do here. Hmm, who to run at this top one? I feel like just running like let's put uh, who, what do I need down here. Oh, that down here is fine. Um, actually, yeah, down here I'm just gonna put this here. Yeah, down here, this is fine. Uh, hopefully she doesn't die from his AoEs and his AoEs, but, you know, I'll, I'll focus her with him. Um, hopefully, I need to make sure these two are topped off so that he uh, so that he attacks her. He's not going to attack her, or, or he's going to AoE, right? But he's not going to S3 her, so he's only going to S3 him, and then he's going to S3 everybody, and then S1 him. So, uh, as far as that's concerned, down here, solid, I think. Um, up here, though, is where it, it gets kind of sketchy. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is bring. Where are you? Let's go. T let's go take my. Uh, do Charles. Where's my? There you are. Let's bring her on a test run here. Well, actually, no. That's either Charles or her, and I'm thinking I'm gonna bring her. And I'm gonna. Where's my? Uh, where's my Basar? And I need a healer. Um. Actually, this is kind of dumb, right? Because, um. I have two defense buffs, which is pretty stupid. That's not going to work either. Um, yeah, I don't have anything. Like, I'm trying to think about something tanky enough to, to bring here. I guess overlapping the defense buffs isn't that big a deal. Um, 
I just gotta, I'm just gonna, I mean, basically it just means that I can time it so that, like, there's no turns, I don't have a defense buff, so I should really treat it like that. Um, but yeah. Do I have another, do I have a better healer? No, he's gonna be the best healer for this, I think. As long as he doesn't die from a one-shot. Let's take a look at what happens here. Okay, so... Oh man, the RNG there is not good. Um, my... Oh no, actually, yeah, uh, the Krau is faster than the... I I'm thinking about my, um... What my... What's her name? Which she will be eventually. Uh, let's... Let's get you, why not? Okay. So let's get this defense buff up. I didn't get the crit, unfortunately. Okay, so he's gonna S3. It wasn't too bad. S3 from this, see how this works. It's still not too bad. Um, I'm not sure why these um, Riolus are hitting so softly. Um, it is a mystery to me. Uh, but fortunately, like, this team is perfect for um, running, uh, what's his name here? Um, Basar, because they're all so tanky that, like, I get more out of his, his S1 heal, because it heals based off of um, uh, scaling on their health. Uh, should I kill him now? No, I can't. Let's hit you. So 8k damage off an S2. That's pretty good. If I wonder how much damage, how much more damage it would have been if I had uh, gotten the. Um... Of course, I taunted him, but he still hit the one I didn't want him to hit. Um, I'm gonna clear this buff because I'm gonna S3 him. Hit you. Uh, you do so little damage without the crit. Uh, I don't know if he'll survive this. Yeah, I don't think he will. Uh, so this is the last attack. Um, lost too many units, I guess. Uh, by the end of this, so let's do this. Uh, but I, I like my Alencia's performance here. It was very good. Um, got the crit chance buff, but not the attack buff. Yeah, I like my Alencia's performance here. She's, she's, she's doing very well, um, all things considered, really. Um, there's not much you can do to get to this kind of damage um, when, it, when it comes down to it. Um, let's see. Well, I don't know who to hit with this. Uh, we'll hit you. Try to. Look into my eyes. Say my name. Is that her voice? I, have, I haven't heard her voice very often. Um, <clears throat> I am kind of scared of her getting hit by any sort of buff, uh, debuff, so I'm just going to give her this right away. Uh, and it boosts her up forward so that, like, she's ready to heal next turn in case anything sketchy happens. Fortunately, uh, they're hitting her. Okay, very good. Um, so he's he's always gonna hit him because she's not gonna hit water, or he's not gonna hit water. So that's nice. Uh, we get to go forward. Uh, let's just hit you. And we got the sleep. Cool. I don't think we need to do this, so we're just gonna do this. Uh, crowds have been building a lot of effect resistance lately, which I think is pretty good. Um, it's kind of hard for my account to do that though. Like I don't have the gear for it. Um, let's hit you. Come on, hit the. Ah, uh, I was trying to hit the. Um, uh, I'm just gonna leave him asleep a there for. Okay. Okay, so he's still the lowest, which is good because now. Um, okay, I got the stun on him. Okay, good. Um, oh, this is bad. Crow is about to S3. See if I can sleep him. Well, let's uh, see if I can sleep him. 
Poor salt in the wound there. Oh no. Ah, oh, he did. Okay. So I'm taking 12 to the face here, and I think it's going to go right into G Perg, which is good. Okay, so 12. He's going to hit G Perg as well. Uh, hopefully he doesn't die. Don't die, don't die. Ah, he's dead. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so I need to survive his S1 is all. And we did. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, let's heal you. Get the boost from this. Um, and then S2. Uh, I have to kill... I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, and I'll get the pushback on this. That's fine. I wanted I wanted the damage, but um, it's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, I think they should be dead here. Ugh. So if it's just Ken, it's fine, because he's about to die, yeah. And Ken is dead. Yep. Alright, so that went fine, bottom one. Uh, obviously the top one could have gone better. Um, uh, I'm trying to think about like what, how we could have solved that to some degree, or how, like, given the team I took in there, what happened? I think the main thing is just that uh, my Bissar's not tanky enough. He can't take that much uh, abuse. Uh, which is fine. I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Uh, his gear is already like level 90. So let's go take a look at these units real quick because we ended a little early. Uh, so two attacks and a draw, not bad. Um, uh, two successes and a draw, I mean. Um, so let's go take a look at uh, some of the units I was using here. My Alencia, my S10A, my DJ Basar are all pretty in, in, in a pretty good spot right now. So let's go take a look at Alencia. Uh, so this is my Alencia. She lost a little bit of defense, but as you can see, she's still pretty tanky from from that. Um, this this kind of sucks a little bit. Um, I want I'm waiting for an Abyssal Sword, but this will do for now. Um, yeah. So as soon as I get an Abyssal Sword, it's gonna be replaced. Get more health, more uh, more speed, hopefully more crit chance. Uh, but as you can see, these stats are the same thing that are on the Abyss Sword, um, but here, they're already here. Um, I can 90 this if I wanted to, but I don't think it's worth it. I'll get like two points in speed, I think. Uh, two points in health. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll see. I probably should save my uh, my stuff though. Uh, this boot is still here. I still haven't found a good speed boot with good speed subs, so that's always irritating. Uh, I got this ring. I gave it to her because she has twenty nine percent health on it, seven speed, uh, seven crit chance, and all that stuff. So there you go. Uh, twenty crit damage on this. This is a pretty decent uh, ring. Uh, obviously, as you can see here, she's missing quite a bit of crit chance, so I need to like figure out a way to get more crit chance on her. Um, and then there's this. Uh, it's only two limit broken. I have a third one that I can feed in there. So we'll see. Oh, well, it's being used by somebody, but I have a third one that I can put in there. Um, but I'm thinking I'm just going to limit break it with uh, with the bottles. Because for one, it's a limited artifact, and two... I think I prefer having the two of them just in case I need a second one rather than just having all invested into one. So that's that. Uh, what else? Who else is going to show off? I guess my Lilibet in case anybody cares about... Um, like I, I I don't think I've ever not one-shotted an Arbiter Vildred that isn't like on some like 15k HP uh, tank set. And even then, I'd probably... You know, there's a pretty decent chance I could if I had this maxed or something. Um, but this is my this is her, her stats. So 4,000... Uh, one one imprint so four thousand attack, uh, two two forty four, so two forty four crit chance uh, crit damage. So you can see here it's like it's not that high an investment. Look at all this like seventy gear and, and I mean it's forty five gear here. So it's not that high an investment to get a decent like Lilibet going. Um, this one is what the one you want for more damage on the S three, and then the, obviously you want to max out the crit chance there. Uh, who else did I use? Let's go take a look at my Basar. 
Uh, Basar, again, like I said, he he needs more tank is all it comes down to, which it's 50-50. Half of it, I mean, look, you can see all the gear he has on him. This is all pretty decent gear. I mean, this these stats are kind of spread out, so it's kind of, you know, not ideal. Uh, you'd want, like, 21 health and then 21 defense and not in any of this other stuff. Um, this ring is decent. Health, attack, defense. Uh, speed is pretty trash. Um, but this is one of the first pieces I ever boosted. Uh, when, this and, and this was um, back then. So, you know, this is pretty decent. Effect, resistance, defense, health, speed, and uh, flat health because it's better on him than, than percentage health. Uh, I got this sword. Again, I, I could get a better sword, one with less uh, crit chance or attack. I don't know. Wait, did they go below 9? I'm not sure. Um, this helmet, as you can see, 71 helmet, um, can easily be replaced. Something with more HP, more speed, so I'll be on the lookout for that. But uh, this this one here was ridiculous. 31% uh, HP and 8 speed is really good. Uh, but I think part of his tankiness will come... I mean. You get like a few HP off of this, like not that much, right? You get some HP from this when you max this out. But what's most important here is not necessarily the HP you'll get out of it, but it's the increased healing you get um, on the lowest health ally, right? This heals the lowest health ally, and that's usually him, which means that once you max this out, you'll get more healing on himself, uh, which is a good thing, of course. Um, skill Enhance, unfortunately, I think... Uh, it's going to be kind of sad because, yeah, I'm not going to get any molas back from him when I reach level 10. It's just going to give me molas to, like, get the 15 extra damage from here, which is dumb. Um, it's gonna, Not only is it dumb, it's also going to cost me two molas to max this, which is pretty sad. I think this should be boosted up to five, but that, that sounds kind of dangerous. Like, instead of just you get three at the end, you get five. Because a lot of people's skills are, like, five. They cost five at the end, so... This doesn't help you with anything. It like it's not useful. It ends up costing you because, well, he's already plus fourteen. I, I guess I'll just like max it out because they gave me three. And now I got to put two in, um, which, you know, it's just a small thing. It's just one of those things to keep in mind that like, the fact that he has that doesn't really help anything. Um, who else was I gonna look at here? My oh my S ten A, it's pretty good right now. She's not the best, mind you. She's lacking a lot of attack, as I said. Like, look at this. A level 12 Caladra uh, gives you 21% on debuffed enemies, um, which is already, like, 1% higher than a maxed uh, portrait, and I don't even have a maxed por portrait, right? So I might stick with this. Uh, it's looking pretty good. You get some pretty good damage numbers out of it. Uh, as you can see here, her stats are not... They're, they're not as good as you'd want them to be, but that comes from... I mean, for one, she's got this here. Uh, I kind of like this because it had a lot of health and a lot of speed and, you know, had crit chance on there. Um, so I kind of like these substats. They just didn't roll as good as they could have. And not only that, but it's also level, not level 85 gear. So it is what it is. Uh, but everything else is pretty decent. Uh, I got like 21% crit chance on this, which isn't too bad. It means I can like, one, it affords me the ability to run all these like crit damage and just, you know, focus on crit damage more. Uh, but it had speed, health, and attack, which is like, all right. Um... This, this, this sword can obviously be replaced. Um, that effect resistance is really bad. So I don't farm Banshee right now. So she's kind of like as good gear as I can get her, right? Like all this stuff is like as good as I can get her. So I got her this. Uh, 8 crit chance, defense, 13 speed, and 16 attack, which is great. So she's at 200 speed. Um, and then, you know, this one came out with 15 speed. Of course, again, we can look at this here and hopefully like... You, we're, I mean, a crit damage stat, substat would have been great here, but... Uh, Fortunately, you know, we didn't get that. Uh, and then ultimately this boot here, this boot here was for like survivability. So, it's, you know, 40 speed. Uh, the crit chance is pretty garbage, but like 14 defense, 14 HP and, and uh, the, the 10 attack. Um, I like the way the, the, I like the way it's all allocated. So, you know, we survived that game because I didn't go full attack, right? So she survived taking that uh, S1. Um, of course, I've got, let's see, we've got um, some molas here again. I'm missing about 20% damage, which is really hurting me. Uh, and I'm missing the last upgrade from this, to, which is 1.5 per uh, per kill per stack, right? So that's a huge detriment compared to other people's. Uh, her S3 is not the biggest deal. You always kind of, it's more like an execution a lot of times. I mean, it's your opener, but it's also your executioner. Like, you use it to start, and then you start S2-ing or S1-ing. And then you hunt around to see who you can S3 to get the, the most benefit off of it, which is reducing everybody's uh, CR by 50%. Um, so that's kind of what's up with that. Um, 
yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. Uh, this the skill is pretty good. Uh, I I really would I really do want to put uh like a slate into her for the plus the six percent damage there, but it's hard to justify that right now. Maybe later when I get more gear, or maybe I'll just pull like another Tenebria and and, and feed her into her. But uh, I guess a, a quick thing I can do is probably boost this. Um, but yeah, so I, I you know we had a little bit of time. Uh, we finished up Guild War pretty early today, so I just thought I'd come show off some of the units and and see what their builds are. Um, so you two can see like. I'm not gonna say like I'm, I'm still in a sort of a probation period with these guys. Uh, and here's my oh here's my real well. Uh, so I'm not gonna say I'm like like 100% already in the guild. I'm kind of in a probation. They want to see how I do um, in this guild. Uh, so you know, but it's just an indicator to be like, all right. So you can you can compare your stuff to my stuff and kind of see you know how you're feeling, whether or not you can you know you think you can hang out in in, in this high level. Uh, not we're not that high. I mean, really, the cutoff is like top 20. At top 20, you're facing against like whales that like have you know 25 substat uh, speed substat you know gear on like everything so they've just got insane gear uh, top 20 that's where that is like under that you know when you're floating around here it's decently high but it's not so high that like you've invested thousands of dollars into this game per week um so yeah this you know like i said this is just a, again i always like to show people you know what what um what it looks like on out on the outside here so let's take a look at some, I'm just going to look at something I can give her. Wow, this already looks amazing right off the bat. It just doesn't have any speed. But this only has two speed on it, so anything is better than that, I think. Um, but let's take a look at what she would have if I gave her, like, theoretically, right? Because we're going to lose the effect resistance, but that's fine. We'll just pretend like it's not there. Um, let's go find, like, a 60%. Oh, here's one. Oh, yeah, I can just give her this. Uh, speed, effect resistance, crit chance, effectiveness. Yeah, there we go. I'll probably just give her that. Uh, so we're looking at here 20,000 HP with only 15k uh, defense. It's kind of lackluster um, with 100% effect resistance. I think 100% effect, resist effect resistance is fine because at 150 you're kind of like middling. Like at 150 you're you're still gonna get debuffed by like insane like people who are stacking like Basars, right? You're still gonna get debuffed by people who are building properly. Uh, so in that case, your effect resistance didn't really mean anything unless you like unless you're hitting 200. 200 is where I feel the cutoff is of like you're beating other people's uh, effectiveness. Like you're if they're investing in effectiveness, you're making it irrelevant by hitting 200%. Um, under like at 100 under 150 around 100, you're you're still beating people who aren't building effectiveness. So maybe like your odd crows, your odd uh, Cecilia's. I don't know. Some Cecilia's build a lot of effectiveness, but you know what I mean? Like the odd um, unit that isn't built, isn't stacking effectiveness, you'll still beat them out with 100%. Um, but like I said, you're losing a lot because at 150, you're investing a lot into effectiveness. As you can see here, I'm like losing out this 50% HP for the effective resistance ring. And you're losing a lot of that uh, for... And you're not even resisting most things anyway. Like people are still gonna, if they want to hit you with something, they're still gonna hit you with it. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of maybe something to to consider going forward. Probably put her on uh, this ring, or think about maybe. Uh, do I have any defense rings? Uh, this is not the right place to see that here. Uh, let's go look at some defense rings and see what I have. Oh uh, no. It's... <laughs> yeah, there's only one defense ring, and it's the one I have on um, Basar here. Ugh, that's sad. Effect resist. This has. Uh, I might roll this and see how this turns out. Uh, it looks pretty interesting. But anyway, let's take a look at what she'll have. Something like that. Uh, so we lose a considerable amount of HP, but we boost up to like 21k defense. Um, it's all right, I guess. It's not like. I tend to think that like defense doesn't have a lot of bearing on stuff. I might actually just boost this, um, just because it's got defense to patch up for the fact that I'm losing so much here. Uh, as you can see here, we got some pretty good substats on this ring, though, like 23% HP and our defense and 19 HP, and then flat def flat HP. I don't think it rolled into that. Hopefully, it didn't, but I might have. Um, but yeah, I think I guess at this point we're kind of overkilling on the the defense. You know, you really do want like like a 20k HP, 20k defense. Ruel is kind of like would be pretty good right now, but I think, um, and it just it kind of sucks because the <laughs> the free unequip weekend just happened. Uh, but I might, I'm going to try this out, uh, see how this goes. Um, yeah, that losing so much losing so much defense is kind of uh, worrying me there. But like I said, uh, at the defense that she's at right now, we're eight, uh, almost 1,800. 
Uh, I feel like it doesn't do anything. So if if uh, if it, if it's broke, then may as well fix it, right? So if it, if if I feel the defense isn't doing very much, let's drop it a little bit, boost your HP a little bit, and and see where we go. Plus, I get the eight speed, so that's pretty cool. Um, one of the one of the issues I think that might come up uh, a lot of the times is going to be this, and that's that. Um, more HP you have, the the harder it is going to be to trigger the um, the water's origin, right? So yeah, that's something to consider. But I think I'm gonna run this and see what uh, see what kind of numbers I can get, see what kind of success I can have with it. Hundred eighty four with uh, if I refine this boot gets me up to one ninety one one eighty nine. Which is pretty decent, I think. Um, the only other way to fix this is going to be uh, with some serious uh, speed gear, um, like a speed set, to really kind of patch all this stuff up, make it more. But you know, she is what it is. What it is right now. She's pretty. I like the way she is to some degree. Obviously, I'm not satisfied. I'm always complaining about how easy she dies, but I like the other stats. Uh, but we'll see where she goes now, and uh, we'll see next Guild War. And uh, you know, that's it, I guess. Good luck to you guys. Unfortunately, I really wanted to show off my Zerato. Uh, so if anybody wants to see him, this is what he looks like. Uh, the the 69, of course, I mean, that was intentional. I think I'm just going to leave that uh, like that forever. Um, <laughs> but in all seriousness, uh, I guess the 69 crit chance is kind of irritating to me, as well as the speed is a little low. But I really like these other stats. I like the health. I like the defense. Um, the effectiveness is pretty good. I like the fact that it's not so high. Like A lot of people really want to stack effect resistance, effectiveness on him. Um, but I'm okay with not stacking it because it's, it's it was pointed out a few t it's pointed out to in, in a few people by a few people that like you don't always want to transfer the debuff. Sometimes you want to leave it on him so that if he gets hit by someone who doesn't have debuffs and you still have a debuff left over, you can still counter, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, the, the the one of the main things we're missing here is going to be a decent amount of speed um, and even even having said that, I do want a little more effectiveness. Uh, but that'll come with uh, more Zerato merges. So he's at 53 right now, and then when I get more merges, uh, he'll be at 76, which I think is pretty pretty nice. It's pretty it's pretty middling, is what I want to say. Uh, not to mention, I think uh, it's been to, to to a pretty large degree, it's been kind of debunked that uh, artifacts don't ignore effect resistance. And I'm not gonna say here that artifacts do not ignore effect resistance, or I am not trying to say that artifacts do ignore effect resistance. That's not an argument I want to say. But there is some something funky going on with artifact procs and effect resistance checks. Uh, there, there, I feel like it always just feels like there's some sort of like, what's the word? Like effect resistance penetration almost. Like like I said, it doesn't ignore it completely, but it, you do seem to get off more, um, what's it called? More artifact procs than you do get to than you do with like generally other procs. Um, is, is all I'll say about that. Is something about them is kind of fishy. Uh, so I'm, I'm okay with not having a, like so much effect resistance because of this like weird like nebulous like property that um, artifacts seem to have. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, yeah, like I said, uh, he's pretty good. I think I'll boost some pieces when I get around to it. Maybe uh, this one looks like a pretty good candidate. The speed again, I, I keep for some reason rolling these two speed um, <laughs> these two speed uh, things, but they're not that big a deal. Uh, of course, maybe health would have been better here rather than just two speed, but that is what it is. Um, this ring came out pretty well. I got the 10 speed here, the 21 attack, 8 defense, health, health and health. Uh, this is about basically perfect minus the crit chance that I need, but that's all right. Um, uh, this is of course kind of old, but it's got really good rolls, 14 speed, all this stuff. Uh, this is the only one that I, I, I kind of not liking too much. I could probably drop this for crit damage. Uh, I'd probably take the attack, the crit chance, and this effectiveness is fine. And then probably instead of that, have like a health or something. Um, but it is what it is. Because of course you want crit damage on him, but like, if I could have like a um, health or defense roll here, or maybe even a speed roll, um, I'd probably take that over this like four crit damage marginal uh, improvements. So the four speed here, the eight crit chance, the twenty five crit damage, and the the flat health could have been you know it would have been nice to have like a uh, HP health, but that's you know it is what it is. Neither here nor there. Uh, this is actually a candidate I might consider for uh, boosting. I have to go see how much uh, crit damage I get out of this when I when I ninety it, but. Um, but yeah, so there you go. 
Uh, so yeah, like I said, some a glimpse at, at some of the stuff to come. Hopefully, I'll have a chance. Like the thing, one of the things I recalled my Zerados is why I had to rebuild them and do all this stuff. Uh, one of the things I kind of recalled them for was because I never really I didn't use them as much as I as I wanted to. So I kind of like use this as a blank slate. So let's just clean it, uh, clear it, um, re reboost him, and kind of think about what I want to do with him going forward. Um, and this is you know I, I like how his build turned out this time. I had a a little bit more gear now than I did then. Um, and uh yeah that's it i mean just he's he's uh he's a little more interesting now um i still the problem then was not so much that like he was necessarily bad it was partially he was bad it was also because i didn't have a whole lot of i didn't use him a whole lot it was like oh i could bring him in here but do i really want to um and that's kind of my problem now so hopefully i'll find something to bring him into uh as you can see here 20 percent attack i think i got a flat health roll which is kind of irritating and then this last stat turned out to be flat defense uh, but it's all right it'll hold me over until i find a better a better boot uh, for those of you, obviously, as you can see, I don't grind. I don't uh, farm a lot of. Um, I don't farm a lot of anything other than wyvern, which I mean nobody should, right? So, anybody who's not wearing wyvern gear is usually wearing something like this. That's like, it's the best we got with what we have, um, with what we've been given. But yeah, so that's it for today. Um, the guild war was kind of short, and I ended up extending it a little too long to show off some units and and, and stuff like that. But yeah, so hopefully, I, I guess like from here, I won't have to do it tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday or, th or Friday, um, since I already did it here. So, yep, that's it for today.